Welcome back to the channel. I feel like we've all had that time where we were asked to do something that felt particularly tedious or maybe not that valuable. And I was looking through the Potly website and I came across this heat map. And at first, these are all typical heat map examples. You have your intensities that are encoded in this table. And I was continuing to scroll down to see other more complex examples of, of use cases. And I came across this here where I'm like, oh, a periodic table, that's pretty cool. And then I noticed how tedious it must have been for some intern or other person on the team to actually program all the variables in this periodic table. So we have all of our elements at the top part. We then have the classes of those elements, alkali metals, transition metal, actinide, et cetera. Uh, and the more of the elements encoded, followed by their respective atomic masses, with all the spaces between the areas filled as zero until we get to the other end from hydrogen to helium. And I wanted to at least call out the work that went into programming all of this um, to then produce this Plotly Express periodic table. I went a step further to actually copy this and I made some very minor tweaks, but just to actually run this code myself to demonstrate um, that it actually works pretty well and it gives you a periodic table that you could hover over, see the atomic mass for each of the elements. And because of the way it was programmed, you can actually relatively easily make modifications to the style of this table if you want to. You can add more information in the hover. Instead of atomic mass, you can add additional features if you wanted to, but at least want to give a shout out to the person who did this work. In any case, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Subscribe to the channel. Bye.